गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज योर कंप्यूटर क्लास टुडे वी लर्न चैप्टर नंबर सेवन लेट्स कोड इन स्क्रैच इन दिस चैप्टर वी लर्न अबाउट वर्किंग विथ कंट्रोल ब्लॉक्स चेंजिंग आउट चेंजिंग कॉस्ट्यूम्स ऑफ द स्प्राइट वर्किंग विथ सेंसिंग ब्लॉक्स वर्किंग विथ ऑपरेटर ब्लॉक्स वर्किंग विथ बेरीवर्ड ब्लॉक्स ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन वर्किंग विथ कंट्रोल ब्लॉक्स Conditional statements are found in the control block with if and wait blocks, and they return or true or false values and execute only if the statement is true. Okay, if the statement is true, got it? Okay, so let study their function in details. This is block and then description. This block check the condition so that if the condition is true, the blocks inside will activate. Okay, and here this is if then block and this is if then else block. Checks the condition so that if if condition is true, then the block inside the first C. This is the first C. First C will activate, and if the if condition is false, okay, so then block inside this inside second C will be. Activate. Got it. The if block executes the code under it only if the condition is true. Else, it does not nothing. An example: If the sprite is on edge, then it will point in downward direction. In example B: If the mouse is touching blue color, then the sprite points downwards. Okay, this is the example A, and this is the example B. Okay. Here it it will point in downwards, okay, and here is also, and this color becomes blue, okay. When we touch the uh, blue color, the sprite points downward. The if else block executes the code under the if block if the condition is true, else it executes the code under the else block. In example, uh, if the sprite is on edge, it says on edge. Else it says on state. Okay, in this example, if the if block if the if block is executed, okay, if it is true, then this this will be executed, and if it is false, so this will be executed. Got it? Code one control the position of a sprite. Execute the given code to control the position or movement of the sprite using the four arrow keys. Okay, see this example. This is forever. Okay, if if this block is true then this will be executed and if if it is false then then it goes in this if blocks okay if this if block is true then it will this will be executed if it is false then this will uh, this will run okay if this will be true then this uh, the, uh, then it will come here and then again if block is come then if it is true so then this will be uh, this will be uh, uh, executed if this is false so then uh, then uh, then uh, execute okay then block is executed got it so this is the output of this code okay students got it now now this is code to change the color of the ball if it touches the lamp following is the code for the ball and lamp the ball moves a few steps if it touches the lamp the color of balls changes Okay, see this example. This is the cap. Okay, this is the cap block. It move fifty steps. Okay, it move fifty steps. Then, if touching lamp, if it if it is touch lamp, then set brightness effect to fifty. Else, this will be executed. Okay. Then, if touch this color, then set this and else this brightness and effect to minus fifty. Okay, so this is the output. Observe that the color of the ball changed. Okay, when it touches the lamp while moving on its way. Got it? Then more control blocks. If you need to execute a code of block a number of times, then the iterative or loop constructs are used. Iteration is a process of repetition. It is possible to write code that executes iteration in loop in Sketch by using the repeat and forever blocks. This is the block and this is the description. Okay, here it is written repeat ten, a loop that repeats the specified number of times. Okay, it, this will be specified. 
Now repeat until the number of repetition is based on the condition specified. Okay. This block is used to iteratively execute the code until a condition is true. Got it? And this a loop that will never end. Okay, and forever loop. You can draw figure using iterative programming, particularly using the repeat and forever loops. Now no more if a decimal is put in this block the number it round it up okay it will not take decimal number it will round it up if you write a uh, 9.53 something so it will round it to 10 okay friends now code 3 draw a square using repeat block execute the given block to uh, draw a square observe that the uh, since the angle of uh, square is 90 degree the turn and uh, then turn is uh, the turn is also 90 degree the code is repeated four times that in the same number of times as the number of sides okay here this is the cap block and this will return it is all then pan down then repeat four times then move 100 step then turn 90 degree okay so this is the code and here it will return output okay cap okay then it is all then pan down then repeat four times one two three four then move 100 uh, 100 step then turn 9 and turn also 90 degrees okay now here code 4 draw a pentagon using repeat block okay in this code the sprite is made to move 100 steps and then to make turn of 360 degree number of sides then uh, that is 350 degree divided by 5 equals to 72 in the case of a pentagon okay because pentagon have five uh, five corners one two three four and five okay the code is repeated five times then it it is the same number of times as the number of sides this is the cap block then this is a pain block then again pen down block then repeat five times okay here repeat five times then move 120 steps then turn 72 degrees so this will become pentagon now continuous loop a loop made using forever block this block keeps executing the code the loop formed is infinite that is it never ends until it stops for example using a forever blocks to draw a pattern draw a pattern using with a continuous loop delete the cat sprite and add a new sprite execute the given code to draw a pattern here you can see here is not a cat okay we use another sprite here this is the cap block then erase all then pan down okay then turn 15 degree then forever forever block is we use then move 10 step then in on each bounce okay so this is the output of this code now code say draw pattern using loop within a loop means nested loop execute the given code to draw a pattern loop within a loop is called nested loop okay in this code the inner loop is executed twice and the outer loop is executed 25 times okay this is the code here we use uh, cap block then erase all then repeat 25 times then repeat 2 then pan down then set pen color to which color you want so we can set from here then move 150 steps one then turn 20 degrees then again turn 30 degrees then again turn 55 degrees then this will be executed okay this will repeated repeated so this is the output of this okay now changing costume a costume is an alternative appearance of a sprite a sprite can change their look to any of its costumes and the effect is used to make an animation for a game of stories to set the costumes of a sprite click the costume tab this will display a list of the costume in the sprite as well as open the paint editor this is the costume tab okay click the desired costume or use the looks block to select the sprites costume new costume for the sprite can be imported created and edited in the scratch paint editor and this is students for your practice okay so practice this by using this code okay students now working with sensing blocks it includes blocks to sense if a sprite touches each other or at a given distance from each other key press and mouse click this blocks makes the program respond it also includes blocks for timing 
the run time of a project. Following is the explanation of a few blocks in the sensing category. This is the block. It asks the user to enter the information or text and then waits. And it checks for true value if the sprite is touching another sprite edge of the edge stage or the mouse pointer. And this evaluates to true if the specified key is pressed by the user. It gives results to true if the sprite is touching a specified color. Okay. It results to true if the first color is touching, touching a sample of the second color. It holds the most recent text input with the ask okay, and wait block. In case of no input, the value will hold nothing. This timer, it starts at this when 0 when scratch is launched and or the timer reset. It increases every second by 1. Now reset timer, it sets the timer's values back to 0, 0.0. The timer should be re reset at the beginning of a project for the timer block to hold the correct values. Now code 7, sense the age of the stage, make a pop sound and change the costume. To move the sprite, use the glide, uh, glide at a random position and change the costume. You can change the color or design of the sprite in the paint editor. Okay, change the backdrop using the if block executes the code. So this is the code and here is this is the output. Okay. Here you can see this is the cap block, then this is forever block, okay. Then glit one sec to random position, okay. Then next costume, okay. So it will, uh, next costume will going on. Then if touching edge, then start sound pop, okay. Go to X, then 72, then Y is minus 103, then glit select to random position. Okay, so this is the output of this block, okay, strings. When a sprite touches the edge, okay, when it sprite this touches the edge, it makes a sound pop and then moves to the given coordinates. Okay, then working with operator blocks, it includes block for arithmetic operators, for example, addition, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing one value by another and logical operations, for example, identifying if two values are less than, greater than or equal to each other random number generation and functions okay so it's logical operations okay and this also arithmetic operations okay few blocks in the operators category are explained below this is the block and this is description description it performs addition it performs subtraction it performs multiplication and it performs division if randomly choose a number with the specified number it checks for greater conditions okay and it checks for lesser condition and it checks for equal to condition using mathematical operations you execute the following script to add two numbers you will get the following output cap then this the answer for 2 plus 2 is a 4 for 2 seconds then say 2 plus 2 this will go this code will be executed then it comes 4 Okay, the answer for 2 plus 2 is, then uh, output is two, 4. In the same way, you can use another, other uh, operators to subtract, multiplying or divide. Okay, strength. Now see, this is the uh, randomly choose a number. Okay, so uh, we use here, then forever loop is here, then the sprite will say some random numbers. This 36, then it uh, output is 46. Okay. Then code 10, making the ball bounce. Execute the script area as so. Okay, so this is the code and this is the output. This is the output of ball bounce. Okay, here we use go to x, random pick, uh, random uh, block, okay. Then point in direction, then so, then wait block is, then forever block is executed. Okay, now working with variable blocks. Variable blocks include the blocks that are used to hold numeric values and strings in variables block in the variables category on selecting the checkbox the block appears on the strings displaying the current number current values of the variable and this it sets the specified variable to the given value a string or a number 
it shows the variable and its value on the stage it hides the variable and its value on the stage okay now no more variables is like a placeholder okay to store values such as is score as long as the script runs a variable values changes during the execution of the project this is the place where you not only store what change the value if we need needed for example a, a sprite to count up fun variable is be of two types string variable and numeric variable a string variable stores a bird in a variable and when a number is assigned to a variable it is called numeric variable okay now create a variable to create a variable in a project click the make a variable button Okay, this is a new variable dialog box. A new variable dialog box appears. Type a variable name or click OK. Also, you can choose to create a variable for all the sprites or for the sprites only. Using a variable in script to create a variable in a project, follow these steps in the variable block palette. Click the Make a Variable button. Variable button. Then the new variable dialog box appears. Then type the variable name in the variable name text box. is specified if the variable is for all the sprites for or for only this is sprites place the blocks as shown ask the name of the user and display the result execute the project you will get the following screen as output type the answer in the answer box then press the answer key okay so this is the output this is the code and this is the output this is cap block then it asks what's your name then user Entered okay. The user answered. Then hello for answer second. So, so this will be this ask what's your name. So user gave input and then output is displayed. Now code twelve draw a deco decagon using a loop and updating a variable repeatedly. Observe the speed variable on the top of the stage in order to be able to update a variable repeatedly. It is necessary to initialize it. first to a starting value this can be done by setting its value to its initial value or say of say 0 every time and green flag is clicked okay the change variable by value command can be used to increment or decrement the variable by the specified value every time an event occurs when this block of code is written within a repeat block a repeat until block or a forever block the variable value is updated repeatedly drawing a decagon okay using count uh, count control loops you get the following output observe the increment in variable okay so this is the code and this code is this output this is the cap block then erase all then pen down block then set speed to 0 it will uh, initialize okay we will and we initialize and then repeat until speed becomes 50 okay then it will move 100 step then turn 36 degree then again speed by 1 okay students so this chapter i have finished and exercise of this chapter i will provide you in pdf thank you student stay home and stay safe